For others similarly named, see the John Aitken Navigation page John Aitken, FRS, FRSE, the 18th of September 1839 to the 14th of November 1919, was a Scottish meteorologist, physicist and marine engineer. He was one of the founders of cloud physics and aerosol science, who built the first apparatus to measure the number of dust and fog particles in the atmosphere, a kinescope. Topic biography Aitken was born in Falkirk on 18 September 1839, the son of Henry Aitken of Darrick, a Falkirk lawyer. He was educated at Falkirk Grammar School and studied marine engineering at Glasgow University, undertaking his engineer training with Messrs Napier and Sons, the Glasgow shipbuilder. He settled at Falkirk, where he carried out his various experiments. He was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1889 and was awarded the Royal Medal in 1917. He also received the Keith Medal 1886 and Gunning Prize 1897 from the Royal Society of Edinburgh. In April 1902 he received an honorary doctorate LL.D. from the University of Glasgow. The Royal Society of Edinburgh awarded him the Keith Medal 1883-5. He died at Ardenley in Falkirk the 13th of November 1919. Topic Work He carried out experiments on atmospheric dust in relation to the formation of clouds and mists 1882, on the formation of dew 1885, and on the laws of cyclones 1891. His instrument for counting the dust particles in the air has been used in principle by many later workers. He also invented new forms of thermometer screens which aided the development of meteorology. One of his experiments conducted with a self-designed apparatus provided the first evidence of new particle formation in the atmosphere. This work was documented in an article titled On some nuclei of cloudy condensation. In the 39th volume of the Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh published in 1898, John Aitken was the author of a number of important pioneering discoveries, "...on dust, fogs and clouds", the title of an 1880 article he penned. As early as 1874, Aitken had concluded that when water vapor in the atmosphere condenses, it must condense on some solid particle, and thus, without the presence of dust and other aerosol particles in the air, there would be no formation of fog, clouds, or rain. In 1884, he concluded that the brilliant colors often seen in the sunset are due to the refraction of light by dust particles in the upper atmosphere. Today, his name is given by atmospheric scientists to the smallest atmospheric aerosol particles Aitken nuclei, those with a radius less than 0.1 micrometers. This size range include the newly nucleated particles whose existence Aitken demonstrated. Cargill Gilston Knott assembled and edited Aitken's works for the Royal Society of Edinburgh, and contributed an introductory memoir. Topic. Bibliography of Aitken's papers Aitken, J. Melting and Regelation of Ice. Nature 6-396. Aitken, J. Glacier Motion. Nature 7-172, 287-288. Aitken, J. 1875. On Boiling, Condensing, Freezing, and Melting. Transactions of the Royal Scottish Society of Arts 1874–1875 9 9–240–287. Aitken, J. 1875. Experiments illustrating rigidity produced by centrifugal force. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 1875 to 1876 9 94 73 to 78 
Aitken, J. 1876. Experiments illustrating rigidity produced by centrifugal force. Proceedings of the Royal Philosophical Society of Glasgow, 1875 to 1876, 10, 1, 99 to 106. Aitken, J. 1878. Experiments illustrating rigidity produced by centrifugal force. The London, Edinburgh, and Dublin Philosophical Magazine and Journal of Science, 5th Series, 5, 29, 81 to 105. Aitken, J. 1876 to 77. On ocean circulation. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 1876 to 1877, 9, 98, 394 to 400. Aitken, J. 1880. On a new variety of ocular spectrum. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 1878 to 1879, 10, 104, 40 to 44. Aitken, J. 1880. On the distribution of temperature under the ice in frozen lakes. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 1878 to 1879, 10, 104, 409 to 415. Aitken, J. 1880. On dust, fogs, and clouds. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 1880 to 1881, 11, 108, 14 to 18, 122 to 126. Aitken, J. 1880. On dust, fogs, and clouds. Nature 23, 583, 195 to 197. Aitken, J. 1881. Dust and Fogs. Nature 23, 588, 311 to 312. Aitken, J. 1881. Dust, Fogs, and Clouds. Nature 23, 591, 384 to 385. Aitken, J. 1881. On Dust, Fogs, and Clouds. Van Nostrand's Engineering Magazine 24, 148, 308 to 310. Aitken, J. 1882. On the color of the Mediterranean and other waters. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 1881 to 1882, 11 to 472 minus 483. Aitken, J. 1882 to 1883. On the effect of oil on a stormy sea. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 1882 to 1883, 1256 minus 75. Aitken, J. 1883. On dust, fogs, and clouds. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 30 1, 337 to 368 Aitken J 1883 to 84 The Remarkable Sunsets Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 12 to 448 minus 450647 minus 660 Aitken, J. 1884. On the formation of small clear spaces in dusty air. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 1883 to 1884, 32 to 239 minus 272. Aitken, J. 1884. Second note on the remarkable sunsets. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 1883 to 1884, 12 to 123 minus 133. Aitken, J. 1885. Chromomictors. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, 1884 to 1885, 13 to 122 minus 130. Aitken, J. 1885. On Jew. 
Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 1885 to 1886 13 121 446 to 450 Aitken J 1885 On thermometer screens Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 1885 to 1886 13 to 632-642 Aitken, J. 1886. On Jew. The London, Edinburgh, and Dublin Philosophical Magazine and Journal of Science, 5th Series, 22 135, 206–212, 137, 363–368. Aitken, J. 1887. Note on Hoar Frost. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 14 2, 121 to 125 Aitken J 1888 On the number of dust particles in the atmosphere Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 35 1 1 to 19 Aitken J 1889 Dust particles in the atmosphere at Ben Nevis Observatory Nature 40 to 350 minus 351. Aitken, J. 1889. On improvements in the apparatus for counting the dust particles in the atmosphere. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 16, 129, 134 to 172. Aitken, J. 1890. On the number of dust particles in the atmosphere of certain places in Great Britain and on the continent, with remarks on the relation between the amount of dust and meteorological phenomena. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 1889 Aitken, J. 1890. On the number of dust particles in the atmosphere of certain places in Great Britain and on the continent, with remarks on the relation between the amount of dust and meteorological phenomena. Nature 41 1061, 394 to 396. Aitken, J. 1891. On a simple pocket dust counter. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 1890 to 1891 18 February 39 to 52 Aitken J 1891 On a method of observing and counting the number of water particles in a fog Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 1890 to 1891 18 to 259 minus 262 Aitken, J. 1891. On the solid and liquid particles in clouds. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 36 to 313 minus 319. Aitken, J. 1892. On the number of dust particles in the atmosphere of certain places in Great Britain and on the continent, with remarks on the relation between the amount of dust and meteorological phenomena. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 37 3, 17 to 49, 28, 621 to 693. Aitken, J. 1892. On some phenomena connected with cloudy condensation. Proceedings of the Royal Society of London 51, 312, 408 to 439. Aitken, J. 1892 95. On some observations made without a dust counter on the hazing effect of atmospheric dust. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 20 76 93. Aitken, J. 1893. Particles in fogs and clouds. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 37 20, 413 to 425 Aitken J 1893 Breath figures Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 20 to 94 minus 97 
Aitken, J. 1894. Dust and Meteorological Phenomena. Nature 49, 1275-544-546. Aitken, J. 1894. Phenomena Connected with Cloudy Condensation. Annual Report of the Board of Regents of the Smithsonian Institution, July 1893, pp. 201-230. Aitken, J. 1895. On the Number of Dust Particles in the Atmosphere of Certain Places in Great Britain and on the Continent, with Remarks on the Relation between the Amount of Dust and Meteorological Phenomena. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 37 3, 17–49, 28, 621–693. Aitken, J. 1896. Observations of Atmospheric Dust. In, FASIG, O. Ed., United States Department of Agriculture, Weather Bureau Bulletin 11, Part 3, pp. 734–754. Aitken, J. 1898. On Some Nuclei of Cloudy Condensation. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 39 3, 15–25. Aitken, J. 1902. Report on Atmospheric Dust. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 42 479–489. 2, Aitken, J. 1903. On the formation of definitive figures by the deposition of dust. Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society of London A 201-551-558. Aitken, J. 1905. Evaporation of musk and other odorous substances. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 25 10, 894-902. Aitken, J. 1912. The Sun is a Fog Producer. Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 1911-1912 32-183-215